Hello, I'm Kara Beth O'Grady, Coordinator for Student Conduct and a Hearing Officer here at the University of New Haven. As a hearing officer, my role is to meet with students who have a possible violation of the Code of Conduct and to resolve the cases. This video will guide you through the student conduct process from documentation to resolution. The student conduct process starts with documentation. This means that the Office of the Dean of Students is notified that a student was involved in an incident with a possible violation of the Code of Conduct. This documentation can come from a variety of sources, including but not limited to the residential life staff, campus police, a faculty or staff member, a West Haven community member, another student, and even a parent. Most commonly, students are documented by their RA, RD, or campus police. Once documentation is received by the Office of the Dean of Students, the Associate Dean and I work to assign an appropriate hearing officer for the incident or case. The hearing officer may be a member of the Dean of Students Office or a staff member from the Office of Residential Life. The student or students involved will then receive a letter via their UNH email which explains the alleged violation and how to set up an appointment with their hearing officer. If you think that you have been documented for an incident, it is important that you check your UNH email for this letter and respond promptly. Failure to respond in the time allotted will result in a hearing being scheduled for you with consideration of your academic course schedule. Prior to meeting with your hearing officer, you are strongly encouraged to review the Code of Conduct section of the Student Handbook, which outlines behavioral expectations and the due process rights for students. The Student Handbook can be found online at www.newhaven.edu backslash studenthandbook.